Well, hello everybody. I hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to what is a hot, sunny and glorious day in the UK today. I feel like I'm going to melt to death whilst filming this video, but I did a little bit of online shopping at Farfetch and not even this hot weather is going to stop me from showing you guys what I picked up. So I know you all enjoy a luxury unboxing as much as I do because it's all you guys ever ask for. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing two things that I picked up. One is a bag and one is a pair of shoes. So in my opinion, two of the best things you can get. After I've shown you my new pieces, I'm going to be styling them in a summer capsule wardrobe. This is something else so many of you ask me for all the time. I have all the pieces on a rail here behind me, but it's basically all the things that I think you guys will need in your summer wardrobe to create lots of different outfits and lots of different looks. So in my opinion, a capsule wardrobe, I think, should be really classic. So when I was shopping on Farfetch, I definitely was looking for more classic pieces, things I know that are going to stand the test of time, and I'm going to be able to wear them not just all summer, but for years to come. So I've actually spoken to you guys about Farfetch before because it's where I picked up this YSL college bag. I'll link the video down below if you haven't seen the video where I unbox this. I adore this handbag. I also adore Farfetch, I might add. It is such an amazing site when shopping for designer online because it has so many different brands underneath one roof. It also has an amazing pre-love section from designers like Hermes, Chanel. I have a new and healthy obsession of looking at the Hermes Birkins and the Hermes Kellys and just drooling. There is such an amazing variety on Farfetch of those. They also have an amazing selection of pre-loved Chanel. As many of you know, I've been after a classic Chanel bag for absolutely ages, but the new price increase from Chanel is huge. So I'm definitely swaying more to a pre-loved one. And on Farfetch, they have an amazing variety. So I think I'll definitely be checking that out. But they don't just have an amazing vintage and pre-owned section, they also have a brilliant selection of new in pieces. So all of these pieces that I picked up are new in, but I feel they're very classic pieces which are gonna tie in with my whole capsule wardrobe. Another thing I'd like to mention about Farfetch is their delivery service is amazing. Even under the current climate when delivery is definitely taking a lot longer than usual, these pieces only took a few days to arrive, which is insane. I also know that their return system is super easy and I feel like that's always such a big thing when shopping online. You want the peace of mind, it's going to be easy to return something and with Farfetch, you're definitely going to get that as well. So I mentioned before, but when you shop with them, they put a little sticker on the top because whenever you shop from Farfetch, you're actually shopping from all different boutiques from around the world. These boutiques are 100% trusted so you know when your item arrives, it's going to be in amazing condition and 100% genuine. Okay, here is the first thing I picked up. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you guys. I have already had this out the dust bag, as you can tell, because I've kind of pulled it all apart. I would like to add, when you receive anything from Farfetch, it looks a lot better than this, but I'll show you actually, because the next thing is a proper unboxing. Now, in the box, you also get the original like documentation, so you get your receipt, and also how to return it, which, as I said, is super simple. Now, let me show you what is inside this dust bag. Oh my goodness. I feel like this bag is going to be something super classic. It's going to be something that, in my opinion, is never going to date or go out of fashion. And that is definitely something I look for when I'm spending money on designer things. I only want to purchase things that I know is going to stand the test of time. And I truly believe this bag will. So without further ado, can we have a drum roll, please, guys? Here is my new YSL Cassandra bag isn't she beautiful so this is the mini version it is in a black grain leather with the muted gold hardware and i fell in love with this bag the minute i saw it i actually have a newfound love for ysl bags as many of you know this was my first ever ysl bag and since getting that i've just fallen in love with the brand they're absolutely timeless the quality is amazing the price point i think is so reasonable as well and when i saw this bag i just knew I had to have it. Another thing that drew me to this bag was the fact it's grain leather. In my experience, grain leather is so durable. This bag does come in a lot of different colours. You can definitely get it in a cream. I think possibly a brown or a nude. I know Farfetch do so many different ones. They do a cream one with a faux croc effect, which I just think is stunning. But like I say, the black one was something I definitely wanted to have myself because it's just going to go with everything I try and style it with. A few other reasons I love this bag is the top handle. We all know I love a top handle because it takes your bag from day to night super easily. Another key feature is a crossbody strap because then you can use it hands free and then it also dresses the bag down a lot if you just want it for daytime. Another thing I love is the fact this bag has feet on the bottom. This seems like a really weird reason to love a bag but when you put your bag down these feet will protect it 
and there's a lot of bags I own that don't have these feet and trust me without the feet the leather gets ruined and they age so much quicker. Then another massive reason I love this bag and this is something I only found out about after I unboxed it. So look at how it opens. You push the Y and look at that. How clever is that? I just think that's the most amazing and chic bag opening I've ever seen in my life. It's also really roomy inside for a small bag, so it's got two sections in there. And I just think this bag is going to make such a lovely classic everyday bag, and I can't wait to style it up. So this next item, there's a little bit of a story behind this. I went on a mad hunt in London shopping for these shoes pre-lockdown, and nowhere had them. I then checked on Farfetch, and lo and behold, they had them in stock in my size. I find that a lot with Farfetch. They always have things in stock that other places don't. So, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to look at this because I haven't actually unboxed this myself yet. So like I said, these are a pair of shoes. They're kind of in my head gonna replace my Balenciaga Triple S. Well, not replace, but you know, I kept on and on and on about the fact I want another pair of white and cream shoes. Well, now these are from Prada, as you can see. This is my first, I think this must be my first ever pair of Prada shoes, yeah it definitely is. I'm absolutely loving this box, look how nice color it is. Now this delivery actually came all the way from Germany. So like I say, when you shop at Farfetch, you shop at all different boutiques from around the world. So here's how it looked when I took the lid off, even the tissue paper is so beautiful. Now let's open it up and, oh I'm getting that real fresh smell of shoes here. And oh my God, they're so nice. Here are, my new Prada trainers. Oh my goodness. The first person I saw these shoes on was Negan. I don't know if any of you follow her on Instagram, but she's just the coolest person in the world. And I love her dress sense. She had these on and I just fell in love with them. I mean, look at them. They are beautiful. And can you see what I mean about kind of replacing my Balenciaga Triple S in the sense that it's the same kind of color scheme? I just think these will look so lovely with blue jeans, brown blazers. Wow, they are 10 times nicer than I ever thought they were gonna be. I feel like I need to get styling these up. Now, like I explained before I unbox those items, the reason I picked them is I think I'm so easily gonna be able to incorporate them into lots of different outfits this summer. For me, a capsule wardrobe is between 10 to 15 items that I can mix and match and make different outfits with. A lot of people say to me all the time, Frey, you're so boring, you just wear neutral colors all the time, which is a little bit of a lie, I might add, because sometimes you do see me in the pop of pink or purple, it might be rare, but it happens. But the reason for me wearing so many neutrals is they all match. So if you buy things that are gray, cream, white, black, nude, brown, you can wear them all together and mix and match them and therefore you don't need new clothes to make new outfits. I've always said that. If you always buy clothes that are really bright colors, then it's so much harder to match your outfits. So that's why I always buy neutrals. There's a method in the madness. Now, my capsule wardrobe, these are the pieces that I believe you will all need this spring slash summer of 2020 to make loads of different outfits and to get by. So, let's start with this. A denim jacket. This is not necessarily a classic denim jacket. I have a classic denim jacket, many of you have seen it before. I picked this one out instead though just to switch things up. This is more of a shirt denim jacket. The reason I picked this over a normal denim jacket is it's a lot more lightweight. You can wear it all throughout the summer. So these shirts are so versatile. You could wear it with the outfit that I'm wearing right now. It's with black jeans and a grey top. A pair of trainers would look really cool. How I would particularly style this is with a white oversized t-shirt. This one is from ASOS. This is definitely something everyone should have in their wardrobe. An oversized tee can be chucked on with pretty much anything and you're good to go. Especially in the summer as the weather gets hotter, you can wear an oversized t-shirt just with a pair of trainers on its own and that's an outfit in itself. This one was really inexpensive, I think it was about 15 pounds. But with the denim jacket over it, and then with my new Prada trainers, I think it's just a really cool outfit. And just something that's really comfy, classic, and casual. I'm just going to keep this white t-shirt out for a minute just to show you how many things it would go with. So let's start with a classic leather jacket. Something else I believe everyone should have in their capsule wardrobes, because it stands the test of time. You can wear it all year round. 
a leather jacket I don't believe has ever gone out of fashion. This particular jacket is from Zara, but you can get them in so many different places. Also, if you're not into real leather, there's so many amazing faux ones on the market. I'll link some different ones down below as well. Now, this could be styled once again with my Prada trainers, or it could be styled with a pair of boots. These boots in particular are one of my favourite things in my whole wardrobe. I believe you need a pair of black boots, not just in winter or in autumn, you need them in spring, summer as well. So once you've decided your shoe, in my case is a black boot, I then want to pick a bag. So that's when this came into play. I knew that any classic outfit is going to be wanting a classic black bag and I don't think it gets any more classic than a YSL bag with gold hardware in a black grain leather. I feel this bag just ties the whole outfit together and also makes a really affordable outfit look really luxurious and designer. I then finished the whole look with my YSL sunnies. These are also available on Farfetch. I absolutely love these sunglasses. They've been sold out everywhere. So be quick guys and you can use my 10% off code with all of these things you're seeing from Farfetch by the way. Now, something I do know is unfortunately it's not always hot and sunny. So you could use this exact same outfit. You could tie the t-shirt in a knot or just tuck them in to a pair of black skinny jeans. I'm actually wearing the black skinny jeans right now, but I firmly believe that a pair of black skinny jeans is a massive staple piece in any capsule wardrobe. Whether that's summer, winter, spring, autumn, you need a pair of black skinny jeans in your wardrobe. By the way, doesn't this outfit actually look really nice with this bag? I told you this bag is gonna go with everything. Okay, next pieces in my capsule wardrobe would be a couple of t-shirts. And the t-shirts I picked up were these from Zara. So I picked up a black one and a white one. I'm telling you guys, with a couple of t-shirts, you will go a long way in the fashion world. <laughs> Something I love to wear with a t-shirt is a pair of mum jeans. Now, I think people get sick of me wearing mum jeans, but they are classic and they are an essential. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear them with black tees, white tees, grey tees. Wear them with anything. So sticking with this white t-shirt and a pair of mum jeans, you could wear this outfit with a black leather jacket. You could wear it with a black blazer. If I was to wear it with the black blazer, it would go perfectly with my black YSL bag and my black YSL sunnies. If I didn't fancy a black look, I could then instead wear it with a brown blazer because once again, it all matches neutral tones. And I would finish this look with my cream YSL bag. There's another thing I'd say about a capsule wardrobe with bags. In reality, you only really need two bags in life. You need a black one and you need a nude or white one because then they will go with everything. That's why I've picked these two in particular. Now, if you weren't really feeling mum jeans because the weather was quite warm as it is right now, something else that I think is such an essential in a capsule wardrobe is a good pair of denim shorts. I've spoken about these ones a few times before, but my favorite ones are these from Topshop. Now these shorts and this t-shirt go with exactly the same things as the mum jeans did. So you can wear these shorts with the black blazer, the leather jacket, the brown blazer, and it will look like completely new outfits. You can also scrap the white t-shirt and instead wear a black t-shirt. It makes everything look completely different, but it's really not. So you could wear this with the black blazer. You could wear this with the leather jacket or the brown blazer and it will look just as good, but completely different. As I was saying, for me personally, I love a denim short. They're so comfy. I like to have my legs out in summer and they're just timeless. Now, there's so many different ways you can wear them, as I've just shown you with blazers and things like that. But another thing you can wear it with and something that's essential in my wardrobe is a crisp white hoodie. This is actually a new one from Topshop and the bottom drawstrings in, so even though it's oversized, it kind of cinches you in. I think this outfit is so cool and casual with my new Prada trainers. Another way I love to wear a white hoodie is to layer it underneath a jacket. The usual jacket I go for, as many of you know, is a blazer. I think it looks so cool when you wear a blazer with the hoodie over the back of it like that. You can do the same thing with a leather jacket. You can even do the same thing with the denim shirt. The possibilities with a white hoodie are endless and I wear them all year round. So far, trouser wise, I've shown you a lot of denim because I think that denim really stands the test of time. Something else that stands the test of time is a classic pair of trousers. These are in such a beautiful camel colour 
And the reason I'm showing you these is because they go with everything. They go with every single white t-shirt I've shown you. They go with the black t-shirt. They go with pretty much every jacket and you can just mix and match. Another great thing about these is it's actually a suit. So it matches perfectly with this jacket. I think a suit is something that's very much an essential in your wardrobe. It can take you a lot of different places and it's just really handy to have. And then like I've shown you already, you can wear these two pieces as separates. So wear the trousers on their own, wear the blazer on their own, and if you decide to, you can then wear them both together and it looks like a totally different outfit. If I was gonna style up these trousers, I would wear these with a white top and then I would obviously wear my new Prada trainers and then finish it off with my YSL cream bag. Just such an easy, classic, comfy outfit. These trousers are stretchy at the waistband, so perfect thing to wear if you're going out for dinner. <laughs> something I mentioned earlier and something I believe that all of us should have in our wardrobe is a pair of black, barely there heels. These are my go-to heels whenever I go out for dinner, whenever I go out for drinks. All the outfits you see me wear, probably bar the hoodie, are all outfits that can be adapted to evening. If you stick a pair of heels on and forget the trainers, then you're good to go. That's another reason why I always go for bags with top handles. Like I explained earlier when unboxing this bag, this bag can take you from daytime to nighttime so easily. With a crossbody strap, you can chuck it on and it gives you like a really casual look. And then if you're going on a night out, take it off, hold it by its top handle, or even pop it in the crook of your arm like that. And it just gives you a really fancy look instead of being so casual. So that's why a lot of the bags I have always have a top handle because they're really versatile. So imagine now that I am going on a night out, although that isn't really happening much at the moment, but it will be happening soon. I've just shown you a load of casual outfits and a lot of you will be thinking, well, there's nothing really there you could wear on a night out. Well, I've got my bag and I've got my shoes as you've just seen. I'm then gonna pick out this black t-shirt. So with this, I could tuck it in and I could wear it with these exact jeans that I'm wearing right now. It's nothing crazy, but it works. Another thing you could wear is a pair of classic denim shorts. You could then pick up a white tee and a black leather jacket with your heels. For me, that is such an easy daytime drink slash night out outfit. It is never going to date. And if you're not a heel girl, then pop on your black boots or even a pair of black trainers and you're ready to go. Now, there is one other item that I haven't mentioned yet that's in my capsule wardrobe, and that is a white shirt. So this is a really light cotton shirt. This goes with pretty much everything I've shown you trouser-wise. Now, you could layer it underneath a blazer if you wanted. You could even put it underneath a denim shirt if that's what you wanted to do. Now, it can be worn in a really classy way. You can just have the buttons undone a little bit and just have it tucked in, or you could tie it in a knot um, do the buttons a little bit more, roll the sleeves up, and then you've got a shirt that's ready to go party in. For me personally, I would wear this shirt with a pair of black skinny jeans, like the one I've got on right now. I would then style it up with my YSL bag. I told you this bag was going to go with everything. I would either, if I was going on a night out, wear it with my black barely their heels, or just with a pair of black boots, and tuck it in, wear it with my YSL sunglasses just to finish the look off, and once again, it's another really chic, cool, timeless outfit. Like, all of these outfits hopefully are in your opinion as well. So just to recap, the items I believe you should all have in your capsule wardrobes. You should have two bags, one black one and one cream one because they will go with absolutely everything. You should have two blazers, a brown one and a black one. Another jacket you should all own is a leather jacket. I do prefer to do a little bit spenny on the leather jacket and get one that's real, so then you know that it's just gonna last for years and years and years. Another jacket I believe you all should have is a good denim jacket or a denim shirt in this case. And then for tops, you should have a white shirt. You should have a white t-shirt, a regular size one, an oversized white t-shirt, and a black t-shirt. You should have a white hoodie, a pair of classic brown trousers that ideally match one of your blazers, a pair of blue mum jeans, a pair of well-fitting denim shorts, and a pair of black skinny jeans. And for shoes, a pair of classic white trainers, a pair of oversized classic black boots, 
and a pair of black barely there stilettos for those spontaneous nights out. Now, I truly believe if you have those items in your wardrobe, you will be able to make endless amounts of outfits with them. So like I say, there is a method to the madness of always wearing neutral clothes. I agree sometimes a pop of colour is really nice, but the more neutral you keep it, the more outfits you've got and the less clothes you need. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Everything featured will be linked down below in the description box so you can go and shop it all from there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you on my next video. Bye guys!